Real men of genius. Real men of I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man, man. And I'm man enough. I'm man enough to enjoy a barrel-proof bourbon. Neat. Man enough to cook my steak rare. Man enough to deadlift 500, then braid the shit out of my daughter's hair. You think I'm afraid to rebuild a carburetor? I eat carburetors for breakfast. Why? 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 I'm, I'm gonna afraid of bears. Up. That's what bear hugs are for. I'll tell you another thing I sure as shit am not afraid of. Women. Woman wants to be president? Well, I hope she has the guts to look me right in the eye and accept my full-throated endorsement. I gotta get out of here. I think I'm gonna lose it. Kamala Harris voters have decided to make a video in support of Kamala Harris to show what it means to be a man and support Kamala Harris. Watch these fake actors who are probably all gay. Great. Uh, tell you why voting for Kamala Harris, voting for women is totally what being a man is in 2024. I'm a man. Yeah. I'm a man. I'm a man, man. And I'm man enough. I'm man enough to enjoy a barrel-proof bourbon. Neat. Man enough to cook. I'm man enough to enjoy a barrel-proof bourbon. <laughs> a barrel-proof bourbon. I'll have my bourbon on the rocks. And this is me holding a pail. <laughs> Feeding some chickens. I'm a man. I'm a man, man. I'm a man. I'm a man. Look how sweaty I am. <laughs> Look. Look me, I have a <laughs> I have a kettlebell at my feet. <laughs> I'm a man. This is my garage. I'm a man, man. And I'm man enough. I'm I'm man enough to take it. <clears throat> I'm man enough to take a chip from Gretchen Whitner. Oh my god, I'm such a man. Tell me about being a man again. Man enough to enjoy a barrel proof bourbon. Wow. Man enough to cook my steak rare. Man enough to do <laughs> this guy with this side pose is like, I'm man enough to eat a raw steak. I take my steak raw, please. I'm man enough to eat a raw steak. A raw, a raw, a raw steak. I'm mad enough. I can't, he's just practicing his lines. I'm mad enough. This side pose is gay. And there's nothing wrong with that, but come on. I'm man enough to sit like this is what he should have said. <laughs> Don't tell my wife I'm gay. <laughs> I'm man enough to unbutton my button two buttons. I'm man enough to have a green screen background of a low, con a low country farm where I can just be a man. Urban meat. Man enough to cook my steak rare. Man enough to deadlift 500. Man enough to deadlift 500. <laughs> Show us. Show us. I don't believe you. Show us. I'm looking at your legs, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a guess. Okay, I'm gonna make a guess. Okay, a little disclosure. I don't think you deadlift 500 pounds. I don't think you even deadlift, bro. <laughs> Those legs do not say I deadlift. Okay, but keep going. You're right, I'm wrong. I'm being racist, my bad. I'm checking my privilege and I'm listening. I'm putting my listening earphones on. And enough to deadlift 500, then braid the shit out of my daughter's hair. Yeah. You think I'm afraid to rebuild a carburetor? I eat carburetors for breakfast. Carburetor? What is this new Democrat thing about carburetor carburetors? We had Tim Waltz talking about carburetors. And now we have this guy. And listen to what he says, carburetor. I eat carburetors for breakfast. The way he has a little lisp at the end, and carburetors for breakfast. <laughs> Bitch, you've never worked on a carburetor before. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I bet this guy, if I, I, I took him over to a, an engine and I said, where's the carburetor? He'd be like, is that thing right in front of me? Is it that thing? Nope, that's a radiator. Oh, shoot. But I eat them for breakfast if I want. <laughs> I eat carburetors for breakfast. I, I eat carburetors for breakfast. <laughs> I eat carburetors for breakfast. Uh, <laughs> this is the face. This is the face of eating car. Maybe stop eating that much.
You have a weight issue, bro. Okay. I don't know who needs to tell you this. Too many carburetors for that boy. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you got a weight issue, bro. Maybe we need to start eating some real whole foods and start stop eating carburetors so much. I eat carburetors for breakfast. I ain't afraid of bears. That's what bear hugs are for. Uh, <laughs> I ain't afraid of bears? You probably should be. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Gay bears. <laughs> I'm not afraid of bears. You know, you know what kind of bears I'm talking about. <laughs> but gay bears. Okay, yeah. I'm sure you're not afraid of bears, bro. That's what bear hugs are for. I'll tell you another thing I sure as shit am not afraid of. <laughs> I just love that this is a Democrat commercial. They're just using words like shit. I put my my fingers in my in my pockets like this. I'll tell you what, I'm sure as shit not afraid of nothing. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll say these things for a dramatic effect. <sighs> Please stop acting tough because there's nothing tough looking about you. I bet if he turned his hands over, he'd be, I'd be like, he doesn't, wouldn't have one freaking callus. <laughs> It's like, ooh, calluses are gross. Ew, sick. I like smooth hands. I <laughs> sure as shit. <laughs> you know when people like don't cuss very often and then he gets a roll? And who points with two fingers? I'll tell you what. I use my two fingers, two fingers to point at you. I'll tell you what. For a second, for a second, come on, Harris. It's the only way, the truth, and the life. I'm, I'm pointing my fingers to two fingers. I put two fingers in my butt, and then I say my lines. <laughs> what is happening, dude? <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you where I put these two fingers, and you're not going to like it. I'll put my two fingers right at my rear end, and I'll tell you, you got to vote for Kamal Harris. I'm dead serious. <laughs> hey, another thing I sure as shit am not afraid of. Yeah. Women. I'm not afraid of women. <laughs> I'm not afraid of women. I'll tell you what I'm not afraid of. Female clothes. <laughs> I'll put them on. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of nothing. I'm not afraid of women. <laughs> I'm not afraid of women. They want to be... Oh, I love the Democrats so much. They're so freaking cringe, dude. <laughs> the Democrats are so cringe. I'm not afraid of women. Swear to God. Swear on my life. <sighs> this guy, I'm not afraid of women. Never been with one. I'm not afraid of it if I saw one. There's nothing gay about that. Yet. I'm not afraid of women. I'll sit like this all the time. I got my little cute hat on. Unbuttoned. <laughs> Don Lemon uses two fingers. Not afraid of women. I'm not afraid of women. They want to control their bodies. <laughs> God, I just can't with this guy with his stance. I'm not afraid of girls. I'm not afraid of these bad, bad bitches. <laughs> Oh, God, I love politics so much. It's just so cringe. You know, there are people out here that's like, oh, I can't believe this. This is like, <clears throat> this is a joke. How can you take this seriously at all? How can you watch a video like this and not just laugh your ass off? It's so ridiculous. It's so silly. Come on, as a woman. Yeah, prove it. <laughs> not afraid of women. They want to control their bodies. I say go for it. They want to use IVF to start a family? I'm not afraid of families. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's not afraid of families. Wow. Now that is a, a stance that I don't know if I feel comfortable taking. Okay. We're just going to go around and not be afraid of families. They're scary. I'm not afraid of families. Families? They want to be childless cat ladies? Have all the cats you want. Woman wants to be president? Well, I hope she has the guts to look me right in the eye and... Well, I hope she has the guts to look right in the eye. I'm serious. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. No straight guy sits like that. No manly dude. <laughs> I've never seen a manly dude 
Derek, why don't you pop a squat and come talk to me about my politics? <laughs> Derek, why don't you come down here and just pop a squat? We're going to talk politics. We shouldn't be afraid of voting a woman. Even if we are gay. I mean, you're, I'm not gay. You're, oh you're straight. I'm, I'm straight. <laughs> this guy. President? Well, I hope she has the guts to look me right in the eye and accept my full-throated endorsement. Ew! Ew, dude! <laughs> my full... <laughs> this guy... My full throat is open for this endorsement. Just do it. Come on, Harris for president. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what is happening, dude? Come on. You said full-throated endorsement, and I'm not supposed to laugh at that? Ugh. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, be sits gay. <laughs> I don't know, like, no problem. Be gay. But it's this, like, <laughs> this attitude of, uh, <laughs> this attitude of, this is like the manly man who are voting for Kamala Harris. Stop it. <laughs> Stop. Stop. President? Well, I hope she has the guts to look me right in the eye and accept my full-throated endorsement. Because I'm man enough to support women. Man enough to know what kind of donuts I like. Man enough to admit I'm lost, even when I refuse to ask for directions. Man enough to not... <laughs> you see the way he stares into the camera while he says that? I'm man enough to ask for direction help. That's what being a man's about. You lost? You're gonna need some direction in life. God, this ad is so cringe. I just can't. Man enough to not ban young women from reading Little Women. Or one of those pants books that the sisters like. I'm man enough to raw dog a flight. It sucks. <sighs> so many sexual innuendos. You're raw dogging a flight? Meaning no headphones? Wow. That's what being a man's a buyout. Being on... I love that the country guy... With the horse in the background, the unbuttoned shirt with the white, cleanly pressed white shirt with the hand in his pocket. That guy, the country vibe guy is telling me about raw dogging a flight. <laughs> okay. Maybe put a business suit on and do that. Then I'll, then I'll believe it. I'm mad enough to raw dog anything. <laughs> And I'm mad enough to raw dog this script that I've been given to show everyone what kind of man I am. Flight. It sucked. Not worth it. I'm man enough to be emotional in front of my wife. Where are my kids? <laughs> that is, if I had a wife. <laughs> God, these people, it's so cringe. In front of my kids. In front of my horse. I'm man enough to tell you that I cry at Love Actually. Goodwill Hunting. Yeah, we know. A side story. That and Predator. And I'm sick of so-called men domineering, belittling, and controlling women just so they can feel more powerful. Yeah. That's not how my mama raised me. I love women. That's not how my mama raised me. My mama raised me. I love women. I love women. <laughs> this part. I love women. I, I love women. <clears throat> I love women. Raised me. I love women. <laughs> I love women. I love women. Nobody loves women more than me. I love women. Women are lovely women. Toxic masculinity is good during the election, I guess. No, this bring back toxic masculinity. I'm I'm ready for I'm re I'm ready I'm ready to stop this. This uh, merry-go-round. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I love women. Okay. All right, bro. Yeah. Straight guys don't say that. Just so you know. If you want me to write you a script, no straight guys walking around. I'm, I just love these women. I love women. I love women who support their families. Women who decide not to have families. Women who take charge. And I'm man enough to help them. <laughs> this guy's... This guy's... Freaking! Uh, <laughs> he can't get over the the side pose. I'm man enough to tell everyone, all these women, how to uh, how to be. When? 
Oh, God. I'm going to miss election season when it's over. So many good freaking... How is this? Okay, good. At the bottom it says, not authorized by any candidate or candidate's committee. Yeah, but it kind of tells us a lot about you guys, doesn't it? Gross. <laughs> Gross. I'm man, I'm man enough to tell other men that I like man, women. I, I, he was my favorite. He was my favorite in the whole... Give this guy the Academy Award for straight for method acting a straight male. <laughs> God. Uh, it's a cute shirt. 